Hi friends, in this uh, session we will discuss uh, finding the E1 and R components of the E1 signal for the discrete time signal. See this is the given example x of n equal to 8 multiplied by 0.5 raised to n u of n. So first we have to sketch before finding the E1 component and R component for the given signal. First we have to know what exactly the given signal is. So it is the multiplication of exponential signal and step signal is there. So we know the definition of step signal u of n equal to has the amplitude 1 if and only if the value of n is greater than or equal to 0 else it is 0. So if you substitute this u of n by 1 so the equation 1 becomes x of n equal to 8 multiplied by 0.5 raised to n multiplied by 1. If I am replacing u of n by 1 then it is nothing but n is greater than or equal to 0. So the entire signal, the entire signal x of n whatever is there that is present only for the part n is greater than or equal to 0. So let us substitute the value of n equal to 0 onwards what exactly we are getting let us see. If I substitute n equal to 0 what happens? n equal to 0 x of 0 equal to 8 multiplied by wherever n is there I am putting 0 8 multiplied by 0 0.5 to the power 0 that is nothing but 8 into anything raised to 0 is 1 so we are getting 8 next if n equal to 1 substitute n equal to 1 x of 1 that is equal to 8 multiplied by 0 0.5 to the power 1 that is equal to 8 into 0 0.5 nothing but 1 by 2 so resulting is at 8 divided by 2 that is 4 next go for if n equal to 2 uh, x of 2 equal to 8 multiplied by 0 0.5 to the power 2 that is 0 0.5 to the power 2 is nothing but 1 by 4 8 by 4 is nothing but 2 similarly n equal to 3 we are getting 1 so let us sketch the given signal for n equal to 0 we are getting the amplitude as 8 we are getting the amplitude as 8 for n equal to 1 we are getting the amplitude as 4 n equal to 1 we are getting amplitude 4 next for n equal to 2 n equal to 2 we are getting amplitude as 2 okay n equal to 3 we are getting amplitude as 1 it goes on so we sketch the given signal x of n next is very simple we have to find e1 component and r component first i will write the mathematical expression for finding the e1 component that is xc of n is equal to 1 by 2 x of n plus 1 x of minus n so we can write this one as 1 by 2 x of n plus 1 by 2 x of minus n both are same see here x of n is already we calculated x of n is there then what about x of minus n x of minus n is nothing but it is the reflection version of this one uh, wherever n is there simply replace n by minus n we are getting x of minus n we can say mirror image or we can say time folding or we can say reflection okay first i will sketch this one 1 by 2 x of n nothing but uh, amplitude scaling is there 1 by 2 x of n is nothing but which operation it is it is amplitude scaling amplitude scaling means we are going to multiply x of n um, by the amplitude value 1 by 2 so what happens simple thing this is 1 by 2 x of n i am sketching this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 so for 0 1 2 3 4 yeah now go for n equal to 0 n equal to 0 how much amplitude is there 8 is there that is multiplied by 1 by 2 8 into 1 by 2 it becomes 4 it becomes 4 next for n equal to 1 how much is there 4 is there 4 is multiplied by 1 by 2 that becomes 2 okay that becomes 2 here 4 is there here 2 is there here 1 is there here 1 by 2 is there now we, it becomes 2 next for n equal to 2 how much is there 2 is there so 2 multiplied by 1 by 2 it becomes 1 so for n equal to 3 how much is there 1 is there so 1 into 1 by 2 it becomes 1 by 2 goes on it is what it is 1 by 2 x of n as i told in order to get 1 by 2 into x of minus n reflection version nothing but with respect to vertical axis we have to fold time folding so what we are getting let us sketch
1 by 2 x of minus n. In order to get this one, simply replace here, replace n by minus n. Then we will get uh, this uh, 1 by 2 x of minus n. So, n equal to 0 is there. 0 replaced by minus 0, same thing we are getting. How much amplitude is there? 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Same thing we are getting. At 0, we are getting 4. 1 is replaced by n equal to 1 is there. Replace it by minus n means 1 is replaced by minus 1. For 1, how much is there? 2 is there. Here I am going to sketch 2. Fine. 2 is replaced by minus 2. How much is there? 1. Similarly, 3, 1 by 2 is there. Similarly, it goes on. It is 1 by 2 x of minus 10. Okay. Next is, is uh, we have to add these two things. 1 by 2 x of n as per the formula. x Even component of this given signal is 1 by 2 x of n plus 1 by 2 x of minus 10. Nothing but we have to add these two signals. Let us add these two signals. Here I am going to sketch. x e of n here i am sketching x e of n okay now let us see for n equal to 0 how much is there 4 is there for n equal to 0 how much is there 4 is there so 4 plus 4 we are getting first i will write time values for both sides minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 for n equal to 0 how much is there both for this both the signals for the first part n equal to 0 4 is there for the second part n equal to 0 4 is there so adding amplitudes 0 4 plus 4 it is 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so how much we got n equal to 0 we got 8 let's go for n equal to 1 n equal to 1 in the first part of the signal 2 is there in the second part of the signal 0 is there Okay, 2 plus 0, 2. So, we are getting 2. Next, n equal to 1 in the first part of the signal, 1 is there. In the second part of the signal, 0 is there. So, 1 plus 0, 1. Next, n equal to 3, 1 by 2 is there. n equal to 3, 0 is there. 1 by 2 plus 0, 1 by 2 goes on okay let's go for negative part here minus 1 0 is there minus 2 0 is there minus 3 0 is there next uh, here n equal to minus 1 0 is there n equal to minus 1 2 is there 0 plus 2 it becomes 2 next n equal to n equal to minus 2 how much is there 0 n equal to minus 2 how much is there 1 0 plus 1 Similarly here 1 by 2 goes on. It is E1 component of the signal. So we added both the signals. Next part is next part is we have to calculate R component of the signal. Okay. Uh, for R component of the signal, so let us see this is the first figure and this is the second figure. Okay. Now for R component of the signal, we know that equation is uh, here I will write x naught of n equal to 1 by 2 x of n minus 1 by 2 x of minus n so from the first figure from the first figure we have to subtract the second figure very simple go let, let us go step by step n equal to 0 how much is there amplitude 4 in the second part of the signal n equal to 0 4 is there so 4 minus 4 so we are getting 0 next go for here n equal to 1 how much is there 2 n equal to 0 how much is there here 0 is there 2 minus 0, 2. 2. Next, n equal to 2. How much is there? 1. n equal to how much is there? 0. 1 minus 0, 1. Next, n equal to 3. How much is there? 1 by 2. n equal to 3, 0 is there. 1 by 2 minus 0, 1 by 2 it goes on okay go for negative part here n equal to minus 1 how much is there 0 
n equal to minus 1, how much is that? 2. 0 minus 2, minus 2. Minus 1, it is minus 2. How much you are getting? Minus 2. Next, n equal to minus 2, 0 is there n equal to minus 2 how is how much is that 1 so 0 amplitude minus 1 it becomes minus 1 it is minus 1 next 3 n equal to minus 3 0 is there n equal to minus 3 how much is that 1 by 2 0 minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 it goes on so it is the r component of the signal so we sketched even component of the signal as well as R component of the signal. Likewise, we have to solve the examples. Thank you. Thank you very much.